What's going on guys? I am Matthias and welcome! Today we're gonna look at six of the most unique and interesting fidget cube slash toys in the world. Brian went, I believe on amazon.com and he tried to find the coolest ones that he could find and the most unique ones that is just gonna help you fidget. Now, when I first saw these fidget cubes and fidget toys come out, I was like, come on, that's so dumb. But then like I tried one and I was like, daddy like. And I really actually enjoy them, which is somewhat surprising. So we're gonna look at six of them and I'm gonna let you know whether each one is wasteful or tasteful. Whether it's good or bad, I'm gonna let you know. Links always down in the description below. If you wanna get one of these fidget toys, it helps the channel out. So make sure you check those out if you're interested. Those of you not familiar with a fidget cube, this here is a fidget cube. This fidget cube allows you to fidget. Literally people that, you know, like to move around, like to fidget, maybe have anxiety, a little stress. This has like a little button here. These are buttons. This is like a, a joystick you can pull out, you can, you can pinch. You can twist, this one you spin. This is a regular switch. This is a soothe stone area. There's some gears here. You get the idea. It allows you to do something with your hands to relieve anxiety, ADHD. Um, I know a lot of autistic children uh, really relieve a lot of their tension with these types of things. So I think they're pretty awesome. Let's actually begin to look at some. Fidget ball. Fidget toy. Does that look like a ball to you? It does not look like a ball. They literally called it fidget ball. Anyways, fidget toy, anxiety ball, sensory toy, autism toy. Okay, so I get it. A one inch in diameter ball of interconnected anodized aluminum rings. I thought it was like stretchy or something like that. That's interesting. Woven in a way so that each ring can freely turn over to the next. Oh. Oh, interesting. Addictively gratifying and smooth movement. I don't know why I screamed that. Doesn't work as described. Junk. Five stars. Great little fidget toy. The jury is still out on whether it will get my third grader to stop chewing on his fingers. Yikes. Do you mean chewing on his fingernails? <laughs> chewing on his fingers? Johnny, where'd your fingers go? <laughs> Add to cart. Oh wow, it's tiny. It's way tinier than I thought it was gonna be. What are you giggling about, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Infinity fidget ball. I'm somewhat disappointed at the tiny size. Yeah. Closer for you since it's so tiny. So I guess you, what you keep doing is it, it's just, they're all connected in a way that you can just keep pushing up. However, I don't particularly like it because I don't like, I don't like having to use two hands. When I fidget, it usually, I'm usually fidgeting doing something else. It's really, really hard to actually get that movement down. No, there we go. So you can kind of, you kind of have to re you kind of have to move it in your hands a lot though. You can do it with one hand. Personally, I'm like I, I like a satisfying hefty click, but that's me. You know, some people like the soothe stone, some people like gear turning and stuff like that. This one's not for me. I get the appeal though. I wish it was bigger because it, like maybe it's just my hand is ginormous um, and it's made for kids. You can go both ways to it. You can push this way and then push this way and then push this way. You just kind of like keep emerging the thing here. It requires a little bit too much concentration for me. It looks to be high quality, so I'm gonna say it's a worth it, but. Uh, uh, you just said you don't like it, and you're saying it's I'm gonna say it. it's a worth it, but I'm saying, I know the difference between a, a good product and one that I just don't care for. Just because I don't wear bras doesn't mean they're not worth it. But we're not. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> That's my logic. <laughs> I don't need a bra, but, but definitely people get use out of them. Before the next product, make sure you click that bell icon to get notified of my videos for future products and live streams because we're doing live streams now that you're gonna wanna be there in the moment because it's awesome. So make sure you click that bell icon so you don't miss them. Fidget dice anti-anxiety and depression cube for children and adults. Oh my gosh, look at all the options that they have, bro. So look at this one. The thing that I immediately like about this is that it looks like a game controller. <laughs> I knew it. You know what I mean? It looks like very game-esque. Ability training, DIY grip, hand-eye coordination, hearing, hearing. Bro, this is gonna improve my hearing. <laughs> I'm so stoked. I have no idea how it's gonna improve my hearing. Let's add to car, see what it's all about. Oh, you missed. Weak. I don't want you to smash the, the fidget pad. It's a fidget pad. So it's not a cube because it's obviously not cube shaped, but it is a fidget toy. It's somewhat soft. It's not silicone. It is a soft texture. Ooh, wait, what's this? Look at this thing right here. Oh, it snaps back. Oh, ow. It cramped? It cramped. <laughs> Had nothing to do with this. It just, the exact position that I did it, it cramped my hand. Oh, what? <laughs> I think my, I like, I think I sprained my, my hand. Like in a, like a Battle Universe or a Team Edge video. 
because it doesn't hurt doing this. I'm, I'm clicking. This one's a click, this one's a click. These are not. These are just, you just press it. This is a joystick. You can't pull this joystick out. The standard fidget cube, one of the things I like about this one is that you can kind of pop it out like that. Like, I don't know if I can show you, right? You can pop it. I know that's, oh, what? Your fidget cube's got some age, bro. It's not even going back. Oh. These aren't buttons, you just twist these. It makes nice clicking noises. I mean, overall, this feels a little cheap, to be honest with you, but, ah! <laughs> Are you I don't know why, I really feel really compelled to do this with the other hand, but it hurts my wrist. Cause you're right-handed, you probably have carpal tunnel or something like that. Feel, it definitely feels a little cheap. Like, the clicks don't feel like good enough clicks for me. So, all in all, it looks like it's gonna hold up, though. I say it's wasteful. I don't know, I'm on the fence, honestly. It's right in the middle, you guys decide. Click that right there, you guys decide if it's wasteful or tasteful. A little poll in the video, click the info card. Fidget dice, anti-anxiety depression cube. Okay, so here's what's, oh my gosh, this guy. He's like, ah, I, I, think, if, I think he's a little far gone for a fidget cube. Like if you're at that point where you're just like pulling out your hair, I don't yeah. think any amount of fidget cubes is gonna help you. There's something about this that just doesn't look right though. Let's, let's read what you're supposed to do with these little blobs here. Whether you're a clicker or a flicker. I don't like the flicking. What? I, you wanna be a flicker? Just flick it. All these long reviews. I know, look at how long these reviews are. Look at this Video. person's review. Got, oh my gosh, two minutes and 22 seconds. Competition. Competition, competition. All right, add to cart. Okay, why'd you sit that down so softly? Okay, so here's what's up, guys. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, and these ones you're supposed to pull? I, uh, I, uh. This feels interesting right there, that's for sure. This just overall just is huge. I have really big hands and this is a giant fidget cube. This isn't something that you can put in your pocket without looking like a perv. So you got a little spinner here. You can actually feel clicks there, which is kind of nice. That's kind of nice. A little Soothe Stone style. These are more buttons right here. I'm just not so sure about, oh, they got little faces on them. Can you see the little faces? That guy's happy. That guy's, that guy's happy. That guy's happy as well. This guy's mad for some reason. No joke, he's mad. He's all by himself over here and I keep flicking him. No wonder he's mad. It's so weird. You know what's funny is like when you, you have to like really test a fidget cube to find out if it's like gonna be something that you like. You know, you can't just be like, oh, that one has like the switch that I like because this particular switch, I usually like these switches, but this one's like too hard to press. The standard one, like you barely have to tap it and like it'll, it'll flick over so you can like. I like that button. Nice hefty click. Unless you got really, really big hands, this one is wasteful. If you got really big hands and make this thing look small, then boom, bop, ooh. ooh. But it's like, it's just ginormous, dude. Plus there's this thing. As much as I'm flicking it, I don't like flicking it, but I feel compelled to flick it. We got three more items, which means there's six. So on Twitter, I'm gonna put a poll and I'm gonna ask you what you think is your favorite fidget toy here. So go to my Twitter, check that out, vote. Let me know, let me know. Four pack spiky slap bracelet, sensory bands, fidget wristbands. This doesn't look so much like a fidget tool. It looks like those things you have in your kids. You're like, just slap, slap. Oh, but I guess people fidgeted with those. It was like early style fidget stuff. I mean, I get it, I get it. Slap bracelets, you guys are familiar with those. Let's move on, let's grab it. Yeah! I broke stop. it. Stop, no you didn't. He's, ah. Stop. Wow, it came with a ton. It came with like a bunch of them. So when you get these, you can give your friends a bunch too. I'm I'm slightly disappointed though that it, it does it this way. Why? I don't know. I feel like it'd be interesting on your wrist if it did it the other way. It'd feel more interesting. You know what I mean? If it went massage. Yeah, kind of like a massage. So what you're supposed to do is you're just supposed to take it like this and then just wrap it across your wrist. Although this, I'm gonna be honest with you, this looks a little iffy. You know? You walk out, you got both these on, you got it on your thing and you're like. I'm ready! You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So maybe don't wear all four at once. Ow! It slapped me, dude! <laughs> it was like, how dare you! Let's see if there's anything besides the slapping that these are good for, you know what I mean? Like, this is like somewhat soft silicone, but I can't see myself like touching this. It's a toy, watch. What are you doing? Toss it. Can you toss it? Land. What, it like rolled away. Here, let me try again. I got four tries. Ready, set, nope. Nope. Oh! I got that one though, dude. I got it, dude. I don't trust you for a secondo. Segundo. Ow! <laughs> I just flicked my nose. Spike down. Ow! 
Ow! What the heck? It hurt. You just whipped me. That doesn't hurt, does it? Ow! It does hurt! I told you! <laughs> Ow! 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 That's the other use for them. Have slap battles with your friends. Tasteful. Your parents will approve. Flip it, bike chain, fidget toy, reduce anxiety, stress, increase focus. Okay, so this one, a little different as well. It's similar to the first one that we looked at. Oh, it looks small again. It needs to be in between what we've been looking at. You know what I mean? Like, this is the proper size. You know, it fits in your hand. This is too big. This is too small. Let's add to cart, let's see what this is about. Ah, oh, it always slams it, dude. No wonder these products never work. And he's like, oh, they're a broken one, I got it. Oh, they sent me two. Oh, good on you, you sent me two. Good on you, you sent me two. I forgot, I was gonna try and rhyme something else, but it didn't work out. You're just supposed to essentially just continue to spin this forever. As you can see here, it starts out like this, and then you push forward, and then it comes back out. So the question here is that, will it handle in one hand? Kind of, kind of. I'm sure the more you practice with it, the better you'll get at doing one-handed. Yeah, that's true. I mean, the more I practice with a fidget spinner, the better I got. This one is definitely a little bit different, though. I'm like trying to figure out how to do it without looking. Where are you staring off to? I'm staring off into space, my friend. <laughs> staring off into space. This is nice if like you're in class and you're like afraid to do like click, 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 you know? After we shot the spinner video, I was informed that many classrooms do allow fidget spinners, because it keeps kids focused. Like, I know like some people can like have the dexterity to like flip a quarter through all their fingers and stuff like that. Ooh, Do you have a quarter? People can like flip it back and forth like that, but then Ooh. catch it with their last finger and then flip it back. I cannot. I do not have that dexterity. I think maybe the coin needs to be slightly bigger. These are like the original fidget toys, you know what I mean? You always see like the, the you know, gentlemen, you know, in old times, they're just like, yes, good sir, and they're like just flipping a coin to like prove that they're rich. I have a gold coin. So this one, one purpose, one purpose only, and for that, I'd say it's tasteful, but I, I would personally like more. Generous, dude. I'm getting generous with these, dude. You're very generous. I can understand it. I'm, I'm trying You're to soft. open my mind. I'm getting soft You're here, getting dude. soft, dude. <laughs> Guys, before we look at the last one, make sure you click subscribe by clicking that big old red subscribe button down below this video. It looks a little something like this, and I'll see you for future videos. Now let's go on to the next product. Okay, so this one I've seen before. Lysium fidget spinner stick. It's not a spinner though, it's a tumbler. So what I believe this is supposed to do is tumble and then tumble back over to its top. That's what I've seen. Are we gonna be able to get it to do that? I don't know. I think being able to roll it left or right and then catching it is a good place to start for beginners. <laughs> who, who, writes, who writes their reviews, I think, or their, their product descriptions? I think it's a good product. I think you should buy it. I'm done reading the description, add to cart. I'm not gonna slam it because I don't know if it'll break. I don't know if it'll break. Who knows? It is sealed though. Yeah, you can see that we've never tested or tried this one before. Ah, oh, doubly sealed, bruh. This is surprising because it's very light and it looks like it's made out of wood. These pads right here, you'd think they're soft, but they're not. Supposed to put this like this. What? Oh, oh you're trying, oh, that's the fidget part. You're trying to get it to land perfect. You're trying to get it to land perfectly. Oh. The, the way they made it look when I watched a commercial ages ago made it look so simple. Oh, come on, dude. You can tell that that's not even placed properly. That's off center. And so is this one's way off center. You see that? Oh, come on. Yeah, they didn't make it. Oh! oh. How many times can you go back and forth? Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That's a little bit more fun. But I saw a video online, I know you guys know what I'm talking about, in which people were just like doing that and then it would land by itself. Uh, Come on. Bro. Oh! <gasps> oh. <laughs> I don't think that relieved any stress. Wasteful. Just because you couldn't do it? Wasteful! Wait, Chuck Nasty, baby! You see that thumbnail right there? There are some night vision goggles. No joke, night vision goggles. Go check it out. I'll see you over there. High five.